After the X Swiss project last year, where we traveled from south to north Switzerland, we had plans to embark on another traverse this year with a group of 11 pilots from the X Alps Academy. Due to the forecasted westerly winds, we decided to plan the route from Montreux to Constance. Our adventure began at 10.30 a.m. in Montreux. The ascent to Rochdenay was a beautiful first hike. When we arrived at the takeoff site, challenging launch conditions awaited us. Nevertheless, most of us managed to launch successfully. Finding thermals in the stable air proved to be a challenge and different strategies were chosen. Some of us hesitated to take off due to the strong wind and difficult launch and headed to our pre-booked accommodations. Others, after a climb, experienced something magical. In the evening, as the sun slowly disappeared behind the mountains and the sky lit up in warm orange hues, we had an unexpected and beautiful evening flight. The silence of the evening and the last thermals of the day allowed us to momentarily forget about everyday worries and appreciate the beauty of nature. This unexpected flight reminded us why we are so passionate about such adventures and sharing them with each other. Three pilots were able to land directly at our accommodation, the soldier hut in Yaun. So good. Yeah. So ein geiles Teil. <laughs> The day may not have gone as we had hoped, but the enthusiasm was still there to make the most of the next day. Nature is unpredictable, but it often gifts us with unforgettable moments when we least expect them. Flexibility is the key to being prepared for unexpected twists and turns. Even when flying conditions are less than optimal, a sunset flight can evoke unique emotions. After a good night's rest and a hearty breakfast, the plan was to make a glide to the other side of the valley. We hiked up for about 10 minutes from the hut and prepared for the first flight of the second day. However, what awaited us after takeoff exceeded all our expectations. The sun cast its first golden rays over the peaks of Gastlotion as we launched at 8.30 a.m. Thanks to the southwest wind channeled through the narrow valley of Charme, we were able to soar up along the steep rock walls of Gastlotion, locally known as the Dolomites of Berner Oberland. The downside of this wind was that our chosen thermaling takeoff spot was completely flushed out and thus not usable. our strategy by walking a bit further to Schafberg. We learned from our experiences the previous day. Today we formed a team and searched for a suitable takeoff spot to ensure that everyone could launch simultaneously. 
everyone's suggestions and concerns were taken into consideration and we discussed different flight plans to make the most of the day. This improved strategy and teamwork not only strengthened our sense of community, but also helped us make better use of the flying conditions. Nevertheless, the cloud base was too low to cross Lake Thun. An attempt to fly towards Neeson and gain altitude there ended in Eshi. Some of us decided to cross the lake by boat, while a single pilot still ventured across to Sigris Wielergrat. Once on the other side, the climb to the plant new takeoff spot was challenging, and the takeoff spot was flushed, so we decided to continue walking toward Eritz and spend the night there. communication are essential for achieving common goals. Learning from mistakes and experiences from the previous day improves our flight strategy. Taking into account individual needs within a team promotes group cohesion and success. In the morning, our hungry group of pilots raided the local village shop. With renewed energy, we began the ascent towards the valley to the east. The plan for Schrottenflug paid off. The group launched in the afternoon and quickly gained altitude to about 2,000 meters. Patience was required above as it took half an hour to thermal up to 2,800 meters, followed by a flight to the east. However, in Giswil, the first thunderstorms became active and the Schrottenflug group lost sight of each other. Some pilots had to land in the Giswil region and wait out the thunderstorm, while others had enough altitude to fly east and escape. By the end of the afternoon, we finally found accommodation for the evening in Stans. It proved to be quite challenging last minute for such a large group. and discussion about the day.
observing and analyzing the weather is crucial for making safe decisions. Top landings can often be safer than valley landings when thunderstorms approach. The safety of all group members takes precedence and we are collectively responsible for it. The night in the hayloft at a farmer's place in Stans was more pleasant than expected. The first group set off at 6 o'clock towards Edmonton, where the entire group regrouped. Time was of the essence now, as a front was approaching. Go, 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 go! where we took shelter from the rain in a cozy restaurant. Most pilots then continued the ascent to the new accommodation for the evening at Clausen Pass as the Running in the Rain team decided to go without backpacks to keep everything dry. The other pilots formed the baggage team and ensured that all the baggage made it to the pass dry. Flexibility and adaptability are essential to tackle challenges. Creativity can help us overcome unexpected obstacles and find alternative solutions. In difficult situations, the true cohesion and strength of a group become evident. It seemed like a logical and simple plan hike to the summit of Clausen Pass and then fly down towards Unerboden. However, as is often the case with plans, the execution didn't go as smoothly as expected. On the pass, there was a strong backwind. Initially, there was still a collective discussion about alternative takeoff spots, but slowly the group dispersed, everyone walking in different directions, hoping for the best flying opportunity. Ultimately, many of us managed to take off from various spots and ascend to Unerboden. Due to time constraints and the motivation to take advantage of optimal flying conditions, the entire group decided to take the bus and later the train. The takeoff spot in Brownwald is known for long distance flights and we quickly reached the cloud base. together, but soon the group lost sight of each other in the air.
leadership group with Cedric and Nicolas managed to fly to St. Gallen but didn't find further thermal connections there. Other pilots landed in Appenzell or Taufen. At the end of this intense week, we unfortunately didn't reach Konstanz. But we had an incredibly beautiful time together. The adventure had brought us highs and lows and challenged us and had brought us new experiences. Each of us had our own story to tell, and despite the differences in experiences, we all had something in common. The enthusiasm for flying, the enjoyment of the views, and the sense of connection within the group. And so we traveled back home content, with countless memories and a feeling of success in our hearts. Applying proven strategies can help successfully deal with challenges. Collaboration and teamwork are important even in an individual sport like paragliding. Appreciating the moment and admiring nature from the sky is a valuable experience.